I have one Dodge coin. When you log into this site each day, you receive one free Dodge coin. And you also see I have a little bit of Cure coin. And this Cure coin is um what we're going to be talking about mainly today. Okay, so on the last video I did, I was talking about cloud folding, PPD and um, how we could use that to help us build up GHS. So what we're going to do now is just a little quick tutorial on um, what to do with this little extra bit of coin that we have. Oh, oh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. All right, so before I get into that, let's show you a little bit of history without the logins. All right, so last night, I was actually mining Dodge for the past uh, day or so. And I changed from Dodge to XRP because I wanted to um, mine a slightly higher valued coin. And XRP's prices are down right now, which makes it a good time to mine it because it'll mine quicker. That way, when the price goes back up, you already have a decent amount of XRP mined. Okay, so what I did was I exchanged 321 Dodge for um, 1,200, almost 1,300 24 hour GHS rental, which pushed our GHS up to, as you've seen, over 1,400. That gives us amazing mining speed, guys. Amazing mining speed. That's why in all my videos, I always stress build up your GHS. Build up your GHS. I also always stress, stress, go to the faucet every day. That faucet is free money. You might as well use it. So, um, I've been exchanging. I normally exchange for GHS, as you see. Um, I exchanged the cure that we've been getting from our cloud folding. I've been exchanging that for GHS. All right. Um, I was on LTC for a um, brief moment. I was mining uh, Litecoin. I decided to use that to get more 24-hour rental, uh, some more five-year GHS there. And... I'm getting bonuses, guys. I'm getting bonuses from the people that I am introducing into this business. I'll touch on the referral program a bit later. But I just wanted to show you guys a little history so you could see what it is that I'm doing. All right. So I haven't withdrawn lately because I've been experimenting with different strategies so that I can make a video and update you guys so that you can better your mining. So I haven't been withdrawing lately, guys. I've been taking my coins and I've been reinvesting them back into GHS or rental GHS. I've been switching coins and just kind of playing around with different strategies to see the best way to proceed. And everybody will have their own, uh, you know, they'll have their own strategies. But I like to experiment around because you never know. One day um, you might be mining a certain coin and decide that, Boom, there's another good coin out there. You want to switch to that. So you want to be able to do this um, with, with, the, with the easiest transition possible. Now, I'm going to scroll down a little bit further just to show you guys that withdrawals are very, very possible. This was a withdrawal of Dodge. Dodge coin, 135 coin withdrawn. I withdrew that to Poloniex. I withdraw all my coins to Poloniex except for... If I were to withdraw Bitcoin, Litecoin, or Ether, I would I would just go ahead and just send that straight to Coinbase. All right. So yeah, there's a BCN withdrawal of uh, 206 BCN, another 103 BCN, uh, another 171 Dodge, another 100 BCN. But you get the point. And I just wanted to show you guys a little history on how I'm using the exchange option to help me build up. And if you take these little tips and strategies and use them, you will watch your account grow very, very quickly. All right. So what we're going to do is 
we're mining Dodge. I mean, Ripple at this uh, time, but we have a Dodge coin. So we're going to take this Dodge coin and we're going to go to the exchange. And once we get over here, you're going to switch this to Dodge and let it load up again. All right, so we have one Dodge coin. We can actually take this Dodge coin and exchange it for five year rental, which isn't a bad idea. I mean, it gives us 0 0.007 added GHS, which increases our hash rate. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this Dodge coin to enhance our cloud folding. So let's take a year uh, a look at what we get for the one year cloud folding rental with one Dodge coin. All right, so that would give us point zero five nine cloud folding for the one year rental. All right. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a look at the 24 hour rental and see if we could boost this thing up. A little bit more see that will give us an extra 21 uh, PPD it'll give us an extra 21 PPD so we're going to buy cloud folding 24-hour rental with that one Dodge coin all right so now what we have here is 23.1 in our cloud folding and what the cloud folding does guys you could review my other video on cloud folding that'll explain it a little bit better but what cloud folding does guys is it generates cure coin at a small rate um the other portion of the cure coin uh, well of the ppd that is used for the cure coin is actually donated by eobot all right you can click on um cloud folding that'll explain it more in depth all right so that's giving us cure coin so what i'm doing is i'm taking that free dodge that we get every day and i'm just using that to enhance the cloud folding which then gives us more cure coin over time so then what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to the exchange we're going to go back to the exchange we're going to select our cure coin now, the cure coin that we're slowly accumulating. All right. And that would give us 0 0.00005 GHS. Not very much, not very much, but it all adds up. So what we're going to do is we are going to buy this five year rental, thus increasing our hash rate a little bit more but we're not finished. Let's take a look at what we got going on here. So currently we're at 1452 on the GHS, 1452 on the GHS, at least for the next eight hours and 35 minutes if you see the uh, countdown timer at the bottom there. And then I will drop back down to about 172, 173, which is my natural GHS. Uh, and I'm slowly trying to build that up as you see. So what we're going to do now is guys, you want to come up here to the top of the corner and for those of you who are watching and you are not involved in EOBot, uh, go ahead and get registered for free. It's free to register and free to start mining. And what I'm about to do now is the first thing you're going to want to do when you get signed up. For those of you already in EOBot and you're just looking for strategies to help you grow, you still want to do this every single day every single day guys every single day all right so up here where it says mining on the top left hand side um i'm currently mining xrp so that's what it's showing it'll show uh btc it'll show bitcoin if you are just signing up but you want to click on that and select ghs 4.0 all right so when you select this ghs 4.0 it's going to start you um Cloud mining is going to start mining the cloud for GHS. At least it will once you do this little trick. For those of you who are already going, it'll uh, start mine. It'll start the cloud mining. 
All right. So now that we're doing that and we're mining that, we're set to mine that, we want to visit our faucet, guys. You have free coins available in the faucet. So you could get to the faucet from here uh, where you see it listed here. And you could also at the top go to products and the faucet is listed there as well. So we're going to go to the faucet. We're going to give that just a second to load. All right. So visit this page once a day to receive free Bitcoin, Dogecoin and other cryptocurrency. And you can use this for other coins, guys. You could use this just to get coins, but it's much better to get GHS because GHS is what's going to get you more coin in the long run. So you just hit play. It's going to load a security code. It's kind of like a capture code. All right. So we're loading that and our code is parallel park. So we're going to enter in the security code parallel park. And we're going to hit get faucet reward. Now, when you're first starting off, and this is your first time going to the faucet, it's going to reward you with about two GHS or so. Something along those lines to get you started. You know, that's, that's just to get you rolling good. And uh, I was just currently awarded 0 .01 extra GHS on our five year contract. So that's just increased our mining speed a little bit more. So now, we have uh, 1452 GHS still, but it's a little bit higher. It's a little bit closer to 1453. Um, and I'm looking at things in XRP currently because that's what I'm mining. And with my current hash rate, I'm going at a daily rate of 4 XRP per day. That's 123 per month, which isn't bad mining, guys. That's not, ma that's not bad mining at all. All right, so... You can look at this in any coin that you like. Like, for example, let's say you were mining Dogecoin. Dogecoin is a great coin to start off with when you're just getting into mining. It is the best coin, in my opinion, to start off mining. All right. So, yeah, if you were mining Dogecoin, you would be getting 14 Dodge per hour with this current hash rate, 1452.7. Uh, 336 Dogecoin per day, and we're looking at a little over 123,000 Dogecoin a year with the current hash rate. All right, so let me switch this back to XRP since that's what I'm working on. And once you have your GHS going, if you're just starting off, guys, stay on GHS for a while. And mine that cloud. Mine the cloud. Get your GHS up a little bit. And then start mining coin. That way it won't be so slow starting off. All right. But once you do have a little bit of cloud mining going, you would just want to come back up here. Select what coin you want to mine. You can diversify. I am going to do that just so I can show you how it's done. All right, so right now I had it set to mine Dogecoin as well as GHS 4.0 just so I can build up both at the same time. And I'm going to use that same strategy now, except for instead of Dogecoin, we're going to mine Ripple. Just select whichever coins you want to mine, and it will, it will change and mine each individual coin that you have selected roughly every 10 minutes. Okay, so let's, I'm just doing XRP and GHS. That way I can mine the coin of choice that I'm mining and increase my hash rate all at the same time. So we're going to save that. Go back to our account just to give things a look. And right now we're still on cloud mining. Another 10 minutes or so, it will jump up to XRP and begin mining that some more. All right. So, um, Real quick, I'll touch on one other thing before I tell you about the referral program portion of this. 
But if you notice in the bottom hand corner there, there's a blue box. It has fluctuating numbers. That is a chat room. If you are registered, be sure to get in that chat room occasionally and just see what's going on, guys. Talk to the people. Everybody in that chat room are people using this platform to mine coins. And you can learn some very valuable strategy techniques in there. Uh, keeps you up to date on what's going on in the crypto world. And it's just an all-around good source of information. So make sure to check out the chat room, guys. So EOBot does have a referral program. And it's not one of those get-rich-quick referral programs where you're going to make thousands and thousands of dollars. So if you're looking to get rich quick, then cloud mining probably isn't for you. Unless you're already rich and you have the money to invest into cloud mining. All right. So with this referral program for everybody that you bring in and you can refer an unlimited number of people, you will earn one percent for every user that you refer who uses either the software, which you can download and use your own computer to mine or the cloud mining, which is what I prefer to do because it's much easier and less worry about things. You don't have to worry about your power bill or anything like that because you're just using the cloud. All right, so you get 1%, which doesn't sound like a lot, but once you have a few people mining, you will start receiving that 1% bonus, and that bonus is paid every 24 hours as long as you have at least one penny worth of bonuses going. So right now, I currently have a team of 24 users, 24 users from all over the world, guys. This is all over the world. We've got them in Canada, United States, uh, Philippines, Australia, India, all over the place, guys, all over the place. And if you see here, I have a pending bonus section and a total bonus section. All right. So just off this um, this top guy here, we have a pending bonus of 0 0.006 XRP. It's showing XRP because that's what I'm mining. You will have your bonus paid out in whatever coin you happen to be mining at the time. If you are diversifying and you're mining several coins, whichever coin is being mined at that time that the bonus is reached, that's when that's what you will receive. So um, I've received a total bonus so far, not counting the pending of 0 0.001 XRP just off of this one referral. And this all adds up over time. As they build up, you build up. All right, I have a couple of people inactive, um, as you can see. Zero pending bonus because they have zero GHS. They are not mining. They joined and then just left the program alone, which I don't understand, guys. It's free to get started. It's free to get going. You can invest if you want to. I did. Um, and a couple of other people did, like this uh, one guy here who you see with over 1,000 GHS. Huge, huge start. Great way to get mining. And um, if you notice, I have a nice-sized bonus there coming in in XRP. And this doesn't affect his mining whatsoever. This is just a small bonus that EOBot gives you just for introducing people to the mining platform. So, yeah, 1% for everybody that you bring in on the lifetime of their mining. The more they mine, the bigger your percentage, or well, the bigger that you receive from your percentage. And you can refer an unlimited number of people. So that's about it, guys. That's EOBot Cloud Mining Strategy explained. Um, just a quick update on what I've been doing. Might hope I hope it gives you a couple of ideas so you can enhance your mining strategy. If you are looking to get started, in the cloud mining crypto world, now is a great time because altcoins are on the rise. Bitcoin is on the rise. We are about to hit $3,000, guys. $3,000. I remember when I first came in, and I, I back when Bitcoin first started, guys, it was worth next to nothing. It was worth next to nothing. It was a while before Bitcoin was actually worth $10 a coin. I wish I would have known about it back then. Like I know about it now, because by the time I got involved with Bitcoin, guys, Bitcoins and altcoins, Bitcoin was worth about 600 bucks, 600, 700 bucks. Look at the increase. Look at the increase. So if you're trying to get into mining, 
now is the time. Go ahead and jump in. It's free to register. Um, use the tips that I showed you on how to get started and start mining for free. And you can continue to mine for free. It'll be a slow build up process, but it can be done. Persistence, patience, and consistency, and you can get it done. So there'll be a link in the description. Click the link. Go ahead and get registered.